Well, obviously, you know what it is, you know how it is, and you know where I am. I'm here because I'm dying from cancer. I have been a nurse for many, many years, and I've just seen the phenomenal need that people have at the end of life care. So when we think about people who are living on the street, when most people want to die at home, if you don't have a home, where do you go to die? And so what should we as a society be doing for them? And I think that's one thing here at Journey Home Hospice we're trying to tackle. For those with a life-limiting illness, palliative care eases suffering and improves quality of life. Palliative care awareness and access remain limited, especially among the most vulnerable. But you are helping change that through Share Life and Catholic Charities. At Journey Home Hospice, you are making possible a new Pathways to Care coordinator. This coordinator helps homeless people like Peter navigate the system, connecting them with compassionate end-of-life care at Journey Home or elsewhere. Hey, Peter. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing today? Bad to say. Some of those medication changes have helped. Yes. Pain a little bit better controlled. Definitely. Good, good, good. <laughs> the last few days have been really good. Really, really good. The medications that they're prescribing me is just starting to gel now. The doctors in here are great, but I'll know. Peter passed away in January 2022, surrounded by the Journey Home Hospice family. As you can see around you, life is getting harder for so many of our brothers and sisters. So we as a Catholic community are committed to doing what we've always done, opening our hearts and bringing hope to those in need. Heroes like you are helping us provide almost one million new dollars needed by our agencies this year. This means more resources for counseling, more help for seniors, more opportunities for at-risk youth to experience summer camp, and more access to palliative care. Peace be with this hospice home with all who live or will live here. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. And with the sign of our loving baptism, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today I'm at the Journey Home Hospice, where people who are homeless have a love and care shown to them as they come to the end of their lives. This love and this care is what we celebrate in our Catholic faith through the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the love of the Lord for those who are most vulnerable. And this is what Share Life is all about. It is that care, that love, that compassion modeled on the Sacred Heart of Jesus, which allows each one of us to be a true disciple. And so I urge everyone to support generously and sacrificially the great work of Share Life, by which we make present in this world the love of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. <laughs>